Thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. Today, we're going to be continuing the horror game part 2. When we left off, we created a terrain along with trees and a first person controller with a flashlight. Um, I apologize for the last video. It was dark towards the end. So I do apologize for that. Um, I did add a directional light uh, in this scene right now just to brighten things up a little bit to uh, allow you guys to see better however um, I want you guys to keep it the same for the feel of a horror game in your guys's scene so let's continue when we left off we have the flashlight and the dark forest and the nighttime sky however we have an issue we can walk through trees now I'm pretty sure that's something real humans can't do so we're going to change that. And unfortunately, it does mean we're going to have to remove all the trees we have in place. So we'll click on your terrain, get the little magic blue circle, and hold down shift and just remove all the trees. Alright. The way we can make trees, so you can collide into them, is go to your assets folder. And remember we downloaded the tree creator? Click on trees. Big tree. Oh, just click on trees and there's a big tree in there click on that and you're gonna have to add a mesh collider so normally this is not here so you're gonna add component collider oh collider and make sure it's mesh collider not box collider not capsule collider mesh collider click on that and you're just gonna have to manually drag and drop each one of these scenes or not scenes each one of these trees in place um, so it's a little bit of a pain however now when you play the game you collide with the tree rather than walk through it so it's, a l it's better so I'm gonna take a quick moment real quick and uh, play some trees you can also shift click so you select a group of trees, copy and paste them. Now, you probably don't uh, need the trees that are going to be way out there in the distance to have the ability to collide with them. I mean, that's not really necessary because you're not necessarily going to touch them. So, for trees outside of the colliding zone, you can uh, go ahead and just make it so you can walk through them. And I'm just going to do that in a second. Alright, so, trees out here are not, you're not really going to collide with them. So, we can just add trees like so, just to get like that kind of a feel that you're in a forest all right so now we have our forest with trees that we collide with and we're looking a lot better the next thing we're gonna add is sound so when our player walks we hear the footsteps of the player when he takes a step to do that we're gonna have to import not import we're gonna have to create a script so, go to your Assets folder, right-click, Create JavaScript, and name this Foot Step. Alright, you're going to double-click on this, and it's going to open up uh, Mono Develop. Alright, under the footstep.javascript, you're going to add this lines of code. Now, while you're uh, writing this down, feel free to pause to make sure you get it all. And I'm just going to go ahead right now and explain a little bit on what it's doing. So, 
we have a VAR ground audio clip. That's stating that we're giving a sound file under the variable ground. So we're going to have in uh, Unity, we'll be able to put in an audio clip. Alright, this is the audio step length of the walk and the run. You don't actually need the run, you can delete that, don't copy that one down. Uh, the function on controller collide hit. This is basically stating when the character is in contact with an object. In this case, we say if it's on the ground and it's going a certain speed, then we're going, if it's going a certain speed and it's on the game object tag ground, and then step equals true, we're going to walk on ground. And this is the exact same thing as the above one, except if it's on a untagged tag. And then the walk on ground function does this. It changes step to false. Uh, it plays the audio clip at a random, uh, random range and length. It's gonna play it at a volume of one. It's gonna play it. It's gonna w wait for a certain amount of seconds, which is the audio step length walk. So 0 0.45. And then it's gonna set to step to true. And that's going to be it. Take a moment to quickly write this down. I'm going to be saving it. And moving on. So, we now have... Oh, we have an error. Let's see what the error is. Uh, da, 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 da. What's the error? Oh. Okay. We need a... Um, I think we need another one of those. Alright. Let me save and see. Else. Okay, and remove that else statement. Sorry, my bad. So your end should look like that. It should. Alright, we're all good. So, we prob you probably have a lot of trees in your uh, hierarchy here. Just go ahead and drag those all under like another tree I don't really know alright that's fine go ahead and locate your first person controller you're gonna click on that and you're gonna add the footstep.javascript and the way you add that is you just drag it on okay so once you dragged it on you're also gonna click on add component and you're gonna add sound or sorry audio source you don't need to do anything with the audio source, just minimize it. This is the script we just added, footstep script. All right, if you click on this, uh, we have the ground sound. Uh, I have two sounds that I'm going to drag in that I got off the internet. And I'm going to click on my first person controller to the footstep audio. And I'm gonna drag walk one underground and I'm gonna drag walk to underground so now when I play my game I have walking sounds now I don't know if it's gonna go through on uh, through the the microphone however there is audio playing and right now I do hear steps walking and it's constantly changing different steps when I stop, no sound. When I walk, it sounds like steps. Alright, we're now going to jump over to the flashlight. Now, flashlight is a little tricky. However, um, I'm going. we're going to create another JavaScript for it. So create JavaScript and name it flashlight. Oop, no caps. Flashlight. Open it up in Mono Develop, and I'll be right back with you when I put it in.
Welcome back. Okay. Alright, I just finished up that little bit of code there, and I'm going to quickly walk through it. Give you guys some time to copy it down and pause if you need to. Alright, so we have the f var flashlight. So the variable for the flashlight, we have the light and the light drain. We have the battery life and the max battery life. We have the variables for each sound, so we need to turn it on and turn it off. Um, this is the bat max. The battery life equals max battery life. Um, this is the drain of how fast the battery is used. Um, this is if the battery is zero, then it turns it to false. So if there's no battery, the light turns off. Uh, this is for the code. So if you press F, the light should turn on. So on and so forth. Da 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 da. -da. And this is the toggle for the flashlight effects in the flashlight itself. So go ahead and take a moment to copy this down. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go to my game. And projects. And I'm going to drag the flashlight onto my first person controller. So. Flashlight source. We got to grab the flashlight and drag it in there. Um, and we don't have any turn on and off effects at the moment, but currently it should work. If I press F, hang on, I'm having an issue. There's no light attached to the first person controller game object, but a script is trying to access to it. Oh, I'm an idiot. You put the sc flashlight script on the flashlight, duh. All right, there we go, that should work now. Yep, so press F, light turns off. Press F again, light turns on. F off, F on. And you can see on the right hand side, my battery life is going down. So when it hits zero, it should turn off. Three, two, one. All right, and my battery has, f my flashlight's faded away and we are left with nothing and I can't use my flashlight anymore, so we're stuck here. Now, obviously, you can change these numbers um, to make it last longer. But I think that's going to conclude it, uh, conclude this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. It really shows your support. Um, I'm going to be continuing this series. I'm not sure what I'm going to add next, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thank you.